Hello, my name is Kira McAdams. I'm a biological science technician with the U.S. Forest Service here in the Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area. Today I'm going to be talking about Pacific lamprey and we're here at a possible juvenile Pacific lamprey habitat. Alright, a little look back into lamprey history. Pacific lamprey came about 450 million years ago to 360 million years ago, long before humans. Sturgeon came about 200 million years ago. Dinosaurs, salmon, humans. Pacific lamprey came around the time of insects and seed-bearing plants. They've survived through the ice ages, flood events, meteor showers, global warming, shifting of continental plates, and mass extinctions. Juvenile Pacific lamprey can be anywhere from the size of a dime to the size of a mechanical pen. If you can imagine adult Pacific lamprey in the summer and fall migrating up this very river to spawn, having babies, and those babies migrating back down the stream, burrowing into the sediment here and there, and making their way back to the ocean just like their parents to start the cycle all over again. These ancient fish species are super cool. Lamprey are long and cylindrical, almost eel-like. They lack the jaws and paired fins of true fishes as well as they don't have scales and they don't have gills. They have an arrow shaped dorsal fin as well as two additional dorsal fins. They have breathing holes instead of gills, an adaptation that has been long lost through history. Eyes, a nasal passage, and a light sensitive spot on their forehead, as well as a really unique mouth. Pacific lamprey have benthic facing suction cup mouths that can latch onto prey, rocks, and the sides of waterfall. Their mouths are very strong. Each of their mouths contain 12 rows of teeth in a circular formation, and what sets Pacific lamprey apart from the rest are their three anterior teeth right here. These are Pacific lampreys in all of their life stages. We have the lampreys pictured here looking similar to how they are first born and the middle juvenile lamprey stage pictured here and here. And up here we have the adult lampreys. Juvenile Pacific lamprey live the majority of their lives in freshwater streams and rivers. For the first three to seven years these lamprey float downstream and burrow into fine sediment to filter feed, all without eyes or teeth. Within the last six months of their time in fresh water the juveniles go through a dramatic metamorphosis and develop their eyes and teeth as well as take on their dark gray to blue adult form. Just like salmon, Pacific lamprey are adronomous, meaning they live their lives both in fresh water and salt water. After forming their eyes and teeth, Pacific lamprey migrate to the ocean. If you're wondering why you haven't seen Pacific lamprey in the wild, it's probably because they're nocturnal. Pacific lamprey choose to live in the darkest places. They live in the depths of oceans and streams and move upstream at night. In the ocean, they begin feeding on other fish. Lamprey are parasitic, meaning they benefit from harming other living things. Pacific lamprey latch onto other fish with their suction cup mouths, bite, and fill themselves with other fish's blood. They themselves are preyed on by sharks and sea lions. Pacific lamprey live in the ocean for roughly one to two years before heading back upstream to spawn. Thank you so much for listening to my talk on Pacific lamprey. I hope now that these fish are a little less mysterious.